everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I am designing three more of the Disney characters. Right now I'm going to be starting with Bolt. Um, I kind of tried to stay with uh, the dog... What is it called? Breeds? Yes, dog breeds. And um, on Bolt, I tried to stay with the breed that he was. But I ended up changing it a little bit because he does have a fluffier tail and a more slim, like, short-haired body. So I start off with the fluffiness and I see that I can't get it to look like I want it to. But um, I go into the detail of trying to fix the eye shape. The pupils are bigger, so I don't think I could change that. And I see, you can see right here, I go through different dog types trying to find the right uh, fluffiness. I ended up sticking with the short haired because it looked a lot more like him, but the tail, of course, is not going to be fluffy. I tried so much just to get the tail right, but I didn't. I, I, you just can't. <laughs> So I go in and I fix the face to match more like Bolt. And then I start to paint the Bolt sign. I try to find a good way to do that. Um, I kind of did a trial and error. <laughs> that looked horrible. Um, I ended up doing, I think, yeah, that right there. Um, that's the brush that I used, but I end up fixing it to where it doesn't look so thick and that doesn't look like a lightning bolt so I kind of tried to fix it where it looks a little bit more like a lightning bolt. This is where I kind of decided just to erase what I had here and fix it to where it looked a little bit smaller because I didn't want it to look too thick and gaudy looking. Um, I kind of used this brush uh, different ways. I did the main three little spikes and then I put in some more shifted like I changed the rotation of the brush to kind of fill it in a little bit because the circular brushes didn't really work that well and I tried to stay as close as I could to what they did look like um, some of these animals probably won't be as close as others just because Sims doesn't have every particular thing that you need f to remake remake rebuild remake these animals um, but I tried the best that I could, and I think I did bolt pretty good. I think he's probably one of the best on this video. And this is what bolt looks like in the final of what I finished. I couldn't put a name tag or collar on him because he was a puppy. For some reason, you can't do that. I have no idea. Now I'm going to start with a Lady from Lady and the Tramp. And... This is the closest, uh, I tried to stick with the breed that she was, and she is a Cocker Spaniel, American Cocker Spaniel, but they didn't have it, so I just used the regular one. Um, I made this pet more realistic uh, to what she would really look like in real life in The Sims, because they don't have, um, they have the long ears, they got that part down, but the fluffiness of the ears just didn't fit very well. Um, I spent my time trying to figure out uh, what color I needed to keep her. And I also did try to look through and see if they had a matching um, pattern color type of what she is. And I think this one was the closest that I could start off with. And I fixed all of the colors to sort of the mane of what I needed um, kind of reddened up her ears a little. And you can see I'm trying to go through and find the fluffy body for color coat, whatever you want to call it. And I try to make her head a little smaller. Not that small though. I did find a collar that matched hers just a bit. And this is all um, made from the like plain Jane Sims. I don't have any custom content, which would be a good thing for me to try to get into. Um, I've mentioned it a couple times, but just haven't had time to do that. Uh, I go in right here and try to fix the ears where they're longer, and I think I did a pretty good job on widening the ears too. Um, couldn't get the right ear angle. Like, it looks kind of like they're not laying down. They're kind of poked out a little, if you know what I'm talking about. 
Um, I think this one out of all of them was probably the most difficult uh, that I tried this time and last time. I think this one was this one was a challenge. <laughs> Just because they didn't have the same things that I had in mind to create her. But it was worth trying. And I think I ended up doing somewhat okay. Alien dog. <laughs> and then I tried to get the nose correct. And I think I had it right before. And I think I got it all the way out. Yeah. Um, next, I think I start with the paint of the lady. And I tried to stick with the same tones as what she was in the cartoon. I start off with the face and of course she does have this little t-zone area and I didn't know if it wrapped all the way around her head but I made it wrap around her head anyways because the back of the neck was marked like that um, and I marked a little lighter around the mouth area because she is a little bit more lighter around the mouth and I think I also go down the chest yes I do and around down the tummy because all of that looks lighter in the movie slash pictures that I referenced. And after I do the lighter tones, I go in with a more red tone and fix the ears to where they look more like ladies' ears, where they're like a auburn reddy color. I did mess up a couple times. These ears, since they were so much longer, it was hard to paint for some weird reason. <laughs> But I end up getting it mostly fixed, and I go in and kind of get the back inside of them. And then I go in with a darker brown color to fix up the tone of the, like, the base tone. Um, just because the color that's on the dog right now... No, don't go darker. I go lighter. <laughs> some parts go darker and some parts go lighter. Um, just because of the shading, I guess, of the game. But I tried to fix it to where it was a little bit more toned to her base color. And I go around the bottom of the chin-ish, neck, whatever you want to call that. <laughs> because she does have that, like, splitting up her mouth and her chest color. Then I tried, don't laugh, I tried to get her little eyebrows and eyelashes and figure out if I could do something like that. But it ended up not working out very well. I tried so hard to get it right, and it just didn't look good at all. So that, I just scrapped that idea, and <laughs> here goes the eyebrows, if I ever get it. Let's see here. How good does this look? <laughs> squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Wow, Julia. Yeah, that didn't work out very well. I just left it like that. Kept her collar on. And this is the finished product of Lady from Lady and the Tramp. And last but not least, uh, this is probably one of my favorites on this episode. Um, this is going to be Simba. And it's going to be the little Simba because you can't put manes on here, I don't think. Maybe unless they get custom content. Um, so I got a reference picture of Simba and I wanted to make it look as much like him as possible uh, So I go through and try to find the right style of cat or breed and Maybe the right color I go through and try to find a, like a yellow orangey Toned color and I think this one is the one that I chose I did try to find a more cat-like head but I ended up sculpting it my own and I rounded the ears out to make it look more like Simba's and I moved them to where they look more cat-like wow um is that how I keep it I think it is <laughs> all right and then I give him a little smile because Simba's all happy I think all the Disney characters happy I give them all smiles <laughs> widen the nose a bit and the mouth and jaw and kind of toughen up his neck area lift up his eyes make them bigger and they actually do have the Simba color of eyes so I really really like that um, I kept the whiskers short and I made the nose a little wider and straight so it looks more lion lioness lion lion like <laughs> I do go in and start with the paint and I believe I start around the eyes nope I darken the ears first can't remember what I did <laughs> no I do the mouth first so I do the 
brighter color of like a pale yellow white color and that goes around the mouth and around the bottom of the eyes and I, to lighten the eyes up a little bit and I do the rest of the chest area just like I did before with Lady because they kind of have the same um, tummy discoloration if that's what you want to call it do the paws just a halfway up I don't want to do the whole paw because Simba doesn't have the whole paw that color so I just kind of do it halfway and the tail is bushy on the tip but it is a different color so I went in with that I do outline the ears with black because his ears are outlined so I figured I would go ahead and do that Took me a little bit to do this part because when you paint the tip of the ears like this it kind of does a weird thing and see like it went onto his face and I, I erased that part but I tried to darken it as much as I could around the ears and this is Simba if you enjoyed this video make sure you have a big thumbs up and if you watch more of my videos make sure you subscribe and I will see you all later bye